welcome friends to the lecture series of antenna and wave propagation in this lecture we are going to observe the basic fundamental properties and characteristics of antennas in last lecture we discuss about the basics of antenna its definition the radiation pattern radiation mechanism and the types of antenna so moving on to this lecture here is the content the antenna basic pattern that is radiation pattern next we discuss about radiation power density and radiation intensity next we discuss the radiation power density and radiation power intensity of isotropic source later we discuss beam efficiency and on this we solve some few problems depending upon this beam area density radiation density etc so starting with the first topic radiation pattern basically radiation pattern of antenna is nothing but a directional quantity which radiate away from antenna in a angular space or in other words we can define radiation pattern of antenna is nothing but a mathematical or graphical representation of radiation properties of an antenna such as amplitude phase polarization etc as a function of angular space angular space means theta phi in which coordinate it radiate to this particular space coordinate okay or we can define at the field intensity of an antenna as a an angular function which radiate away from the antenna or we can say the directional function away from the antenna okay so these are basic two three definition of radiation pattern and it is nothing but radiation pattern or radiation of antenna away as a function of direction or as a function of angular space or it is nothing but angular it is angular pattern in terms of phase polarization magnitude etc so before discussing antenna radiation pattern let me visualize some basic concepts because we need to clarify between the difference between plane angle and a solid angle because antenna term is associated with solid angle rather than plane angle if we visualize a plane angle and how we measure it by means of radian where is in plane angle we can see that plane angle is nothing but let example or we define it it is distribution of angle or arc subtended by a circle having radius r this is the radius r to the length of this arc which is circumference divided by radius circumference as we know the circle it is 2 pi r and divided by radius of that which is subtended by arc is r so total radian possible in a closed circle is 2 pi so this is a measure of plane angle now next moving to the solid angle the solid angle can be defined as in terms of stair radian and it can be represented as sr or in other word it can be represented as radian square or the alternate way to representation of this is square degree so there is three different representation of this sorry, solid solid angle which is stair radian which is radian square and this degree square now as we know that pi radian how much degree we have 180 degree so can you convert this into solid angle yes of course so pi radian so one radian is nothing but 180 divided by pi so after squaring this we will get 180 divided by pi degree square is equal to nothing but solid angle so after multiplication we will get this value and it is closely 3283 stair radian okay so this is the representation of solid angle as well as this is representation of plane angle so let me give you the clear picture it is a sphere over here what we have is the radius is a small r and the area which is square of this arm r is and here r 
the area is r square so the total area of a sphere is nothing but 4 pi r square okay divide by radius so maximum number of solid angle in a sphere is how much 4 pi is the radian so remember the maximum value of plane angle is 2 pi where is maximum value of solid angle in a sphere is 4 pi ok. So, remember this too. So, later on we discuss about this what is written over here. It is nothing but solid angle or beam area we are discussing next into this slide ok. So, this is the concept of radian as well as stay radian. Again I am discussing radian is a measure of plane angle. The maximum value of radian in a sphere circle is 2 pi where is measurement of solid angle is done by stay radian and its value the maximum value in a sphere it is 4 pi ok. Moving to the next slide <laughs> the third one after we require in radiation pattern is pointing vector because pointing vector play important role and we know that it is nothing but electric field intensity E over here it is written x y z and time t x y z is nothing but coordinate system x y z at time instance t the value is E x y z t same as h is the magnetic field h field. So, it is a product of E field to the magnetic field or we can represent as the average pointing vector is nothing but half of the E cross H over here it is written as and unit is what per meter square ok. So, this is you remember the basic definition because the magnitude of pointing vector give instantaneous or average power density this term which is very important and came into the next fundamental properties or characteristic of antenna. So, the magnitude of pointing vector give the instantaneous pointing or average power density of electromagnetic wave EM wave ok. So, moving to the next side here is the actual radiation pattern of an antenna this is a 3D pattern ok. First of all this is z direction x direction y direction because it is a related with angular coordinate ok. So, over here we are mentioning theta over here we are mentioning phi. So, this plane is a azimuthal plane and this plane over here is elevation plane or in other word we can say that this is nothing but latitude and this is nothing but longitude. So, please remember this concept latitude longitude elevation as well as azimuth plane. Now, elevation plane vary how much we are seeing from this top of view this end. So, maximum possibility is 0 to pi. So, elevation theta will be vary from 0 to 180 degree maximum. On other hand this azimuthal plane is varying from 0 to 2 pi that is 360 degree ok. So, phi will be very 0 phi will be very from 0 to 360. So, remember this it is required for obtaining power density normalized power other things ok. So, coming back to the picture I am considering over is direction of 3D direction pattern of an antenna it is for any isotropic source or whatever we can consider dipole antenna or any directional antenna pattern because this is the major lobe direction this is represented as major lobe. What over here is nothing but side lobe or termed as minor lobe there is more possibility that there is a one more lobe over here in back direction and termed as back lobe. 
So, all three possibility happen in a, any practical antenna. There is a major low, main power concentrated in ma major low. There is another side low, where is less power is scattered in the side low or losses which is associated with antenna. So, it is represented in terms of side low and there is one more lobe in back lobe. So, as a antenna as RF engineer we require that there is a lesser back lobe or less power is available in back side of antenna and more power is available in forward direction or main lobe of antenna. Okay. So, there is a major lobe, minor lobe, back lobe in antenna. So, over here if you identify this let draw a distance point which is associated at a distance smaller and over here it comes something latitude as well as longitude axis. So, this axis or this area incremental area is represented as d a. Over here this incrementing angle as it is given govern in terms of phi. So, it is d phi over here d theta sorry and over here d phi. So, incremental angle d theta, incremental in longitude d phi. So, over here it is nothing but product of latitude to the longitude is nothing but beam solid angle or beam area. I am repeating again the product of latitude angle, the incremental latitude angle to the longitude angle is nothing but beam area. Okay. So, this way we have connected all this things over here. Now, here it is e theta h phi e theta h phi because electromagnetic we are discussing about. This is the pattern of electromagnetic radiation pattern of an antenna. So, in terms of theta plane or elevation plane e theta h theta the nomenclature over here e theta h theta as well as in longitude or azimuth plane it is e phi h phi. So, this way we represent the two different plane though E as well as H are both our principal plane. So, but the representation is little, little bit different because it is elevation this is azimuth 360. Okay. So, this way we represent a simple or radiation pattern of an antenna. Okay. So, more coming to the deeply into this radiation pattern it can be comprised of two things or it can be categorized into two. One is field pattern and another is power pattern. So, what is field pattern? The field pattern or is a nothing but a plot of magnitude, magnitude or amplitude of electric or magnetic field on a linear scale. The scale may be different you can choose decibel scale dB, it is up to you on what axis or what category you are plotting this plot. So, it is nothing but the plot is nothing but magnitude of electric field or magnetic field in a terms of angular coordinate system. Okay. Whereas, what is power pattern? This is the plot of a square of the magnitude of this value. So, again a plot of the power which is square of the magnitude of either electric field or magnetic field related to space coordinate system. So, this way we can clarify what is field pattern, what is power pattern. Again field pattern is nothing but the representation of magnitude of electric and magnetic field in a space as a function of direction you can say. Okay. Whereas, what is power pattern? It is a square of the magnitude of electric or magnetic field in space or as a function of direction what you say. So, again this is the basic field and power pattern though there are different types of radiation pattern possible one we see three dimensional pattern another possibility is two dimensional which is termed as polar plot. What is polar plot? Actually what if we are doing we are cutting some portion of 3D pattern and visualizing its characteristics or analyze we what we want to do in basic terms like directivity, gain, power density, intensity etcetera. So, a portion from 3D pattern is chopped off 
and termed as 3D pattern as termed as polar plot. Okay. In next figure, you can identify what is a polar pattern look like. So, this is nothing but a front portion we cut from the three dimensional polar three dimensional radiation pattern of antenna. For reference, you can go to the back back to the slide. Okay. So, what over here? Major lobe. So, what is we given? Positive value. Plus, you can see it. And over here, back lobe because it is unwanted, so we are giving minus. So, there is alternate positive negative positive negative over here, because there is a minor lobe also, minor lobe is nothing but side lobe. So, coming to the picture, here we represent in normalized pattern. Now, again question is around, what is normalized pattern? It is nothing, it is simple the same radiation pattern of antenna, but what we have done over here? we divided this radiation pattern to its maximum value. Okay. So, the normalized field pattern or electric field pattern, if we say by definition theta phi is nothing but the pattern value in one direction E theta phi divided by E max theta phi. So, the given value in a one direction to the maximum field value in a that direction is nothing but normalized field pattern. Same applicable for power pattern. So, p and theta phi is nothing but p theta phi divided by p maximum theta phi. Okay. So, this case we have discussing about normalized field pattern and normalized power pattern. Okay. So, what we have to do? We have to divide by maximum value, whatever we are getting divide by maximum value and in case of normalization what the maximum value we will get unity okay so one so what we have subdivided into few space 0 0.25 0 0.5 0 0.75 one why we are doing so because the transmitted power of antenna is need to travel a distance which is the which cause the separation between transmitter and receiver antenna is very long it may be order of kilometer it may be order of 10 kilometer and even more 50 kilometer. Okay. So, what is happening over here? We have to normalize this and because once the power is when the power is uh, move away from the transmitter antenna side, it need to travel into free space that is termed as channel. Free space is nothing but channel over which power is floating and this power is intercepted by means of re re receiver antenna and some portion of this power may be lost due to environment condition, due to other antenna source possible. There are lots of scatterers, scatterers means the device or the system or the equipment which distract antenna power. A scatterer is nothing but hindrance. It may be tree, it may be boarding, it may be signal points, it may be man, -man held devices, it may be mobile phone, it may be other antenna types which is which for which this is not intended signal intended or directed signal okay directed signal is designed for transmitter and to a particular receiver side not over antenna all antenna okay there are different types of intender may be possible so what we are happening we are looking for that point over which period or a small of portion of period the power is dropped below 3 dB the 3 dB point over here as RMS value is nothing but 1 by root 2 or root 2 in terms of what is the value 0.707. So, the angle or the difference between angle of this two point is nothing but half power points HPBW half power bandwidth. What is half power bandwidth? the bandwidth between the two point at which the antenna strength or antenna signal is dropped by minus 3 dB and minus 3 dB is nothing but 0 0.707 point and the, diff the angle between or uh, summing this two angle from this point and this point is nothing but half power beam width. Similarly, there is nulls this is the first null, this one is second, 
third this is fourth so what is first null bandwidth or first null bandwidth f and bw the separation between angle adjacent to adjacent to the main lobe it is a point or bandwidth available adjacent to the major lobe the first one is this value so this point to this point it is nothing but f and bw okay so again half power beam width and first null beam width what is half power beam width half power beam width is separation of angle at which the power drop out at a level of 3 db okay whereas first null beam width first null beam width is nothing but the separation of angle between first null which is adjacent to the main lobe or major lobe so this way we can clarify between half power beam width and first null beam width okay moving to the next slide it is a field pattern and it is a power pattern you can see the clear identification of points point 707 and point 5 how it is happening because a square of 1 by root 2 is nothing but 1 by 2 so the magnitude is square of electric field remember the definition of power pattern we are doing same okay so remember half power beam width the point of electric field e theta phi is 1 by root 2 it is very important when you solving this numerical and for power pattern p theta phi the value is 1 by 2 or 0.5 okay so this way we going to solve the problem depending upon half power beam width and first null beam width okay now here is the more pictorial version of 3d pattern polar pattern and linear patterns as we earlier stated it is a three dimensional pattern a portion is cut from this is nothing but polar plot or 2d plot suppose if we taking front face this look like like this if we taking the back face it is just opposite okay so there is no going to be change in over here only the side angle can be viewed from different point of view okay so again this is the half power beam width okay which is mentioning over here and this is the minor lobes side lobes major lobe again same coordinate what we have earlier discussed and this is on linear so what is happening you can see that the major power or major power available in this portion and this is the side lobe less power associated with this and this are actually unwanted we want to remove of it but it is not possible practically it is impossible why it is happening due to mismatch due to unavailability unavailability of dielectric material which is loss free so every device or every dielectric substrate is associated with losses so through this there is some mismatch in the power or leakage of the power and this is resulting in back lobe as well as minor lobe there are other condition which govern or give rise to side lobe as well as back lobe we discuss later on that is known as feeding mechanism okay now the radiation pattern of antenna can be categorized into two category it may be directional radiation pattern it may be omnidirectional radiation pattern okay what is omnidirectional pattern and what is directional pattern so in simple 2d version suppose this is my antenna dipole antenna this is my lobe this is my side lobes this is my back lobe this is the major lobe major power this is side lobe so plus minus minus okay this way again if we making this one more side lobe this is plus plus and this is minus same way we can define this okay so what happening the more major power is concentrated over this zone so it is directed in directed into particular directions and thus it is known as directional pattern 
rather than it circling around the all area which may be covered 360, but it is intended to cover in this particular portion. So, it is termed as directional radiation pattern. Most of the application require this type of pattern. Okay. So, this is directional. On the other hand, what is omnidirectional? Omnidirectional pattern, this is the example of directional and antenna need is known as horn antenna. This is horn antenna used to generate directional pattern and where it dipole antenna is the best example of omnidirectional antenna. Omni means it is not available 360, but it is available less than to 360, because only an isotropic source can radiate equally in all direction. Only an isotropic source can radiate equal magnitude in all direction and it is hypothesis. An isotropic source not possible at all. There is no such type of source which can equally radiate in all direction. Okay. So, to counter this we develop omnidirectional antenna. Okay. So, omnidirectional antenna radiation pattern is nothing but figure of 8. It is in 2D directional pattern and this is case of dipole antenna when it is separated by lambda by 2 or length is lambda by 2 antenna. Okay. So, we discuss about what is lambda by 2 antenna, how it is generated later on. So, we are just giving the basic of directional as well as omnidirectional antenna. So, in 2D, if you cut off this portion, you can see this figure of 8. This is same, only the orientation is different. So, it is very important to predict which type of pattern is this. Okay. So, directional pattern and omnidirectional pattern. Okay. So, moving to the next slide. Next fundamental property is radiation power density and radiation intensity. Radiation power density capital W, intensity U. It is for non-isotropic source or practical cases. We are not discussing, we, we discuss later on for isotropic source. So, what happening? So, again this is similar, power density is nothing but multiplication or nothing but pointing vector. So, half R e real E cross H, same which we already discussed. Okay. So, now the concept of 1 by 2. It is assumed that both E and H electric and magnetic field represent peak amplitude, okay, peak amplitude value, not RMS, root mean square value. If E and H are to represent RMS value, then one half must be omitted, then one half must be omitted. Okay. So, using this RMS measurement strength, we can assume this equation is nothing but power is nothing but E stand for voltage, H stand from current. So, half V into I, where V and I represent peak, but not RMS value. Okay. Please understand this. Now, so how we derive power density? Remember, power density is a solid angle or a spherical coordinate system. How we design? Integration of power density multiply by available solid angle. Now, here come the concept of solid angle. So, let first discuss what is solid angle. Solid angle represented by d omega, which is nothing but sin theta d theta d phi. See this quantity everywhere? It is nothing but solid angle. And how it came from? Let me give you the remember this coordinate system elevation and this is azimuthal. Okay. So, what happening? At some distance, this subtending and a small angle d theta and arc this and same way latitude is cutting this value and same the shadow is drop on this portion 
is making incremental angle d phi ok this two coordinate system latitude and longitude ok so d theta d phi so again this is going to show over here so this portion the darker portion is nothing but d a incremental area and how we calculate it let take the first case angle d theta this is arc and let suppose this is radius or length r from over here. So, from the definition d theta is nothing but arc upon radius and what is radius value r. So, arc divided by r. So, what is the value of arc? This arc okay, is r into d theta equation number 1. Next moving to the this point, this is not actually the ra ra uh, radius r, because it is the shadow dropping on this azimuthal plane and it is have some different value. So, let differentiate into vectors. So, closer to this value theta is r cos theta and this is r sin theta. So, this value of radius is nothing but r sin theta. Again same formula arc we can find out r radius which is r sin theta into incremental angle how much d phi same formula we are derived from. So, equation number 2. Now remember what is beam solid angle? It is a product of latitude what is latitude equation number 1 this arc r into d theta to the longitude angle what is value equation number 2. So, multiplying this value is nothing but beam solid angle which is represented as d a and this d a is nothing but product of this two value. So, r into r r square sin theta d theta t phi. If we divide with re the solid angle if this is r this is r again same formula for steroidin r square when you divide this by r square it is converted into solid angle and whose value sin theta d theta d phi from here we give rise the concept of solid angle so i hope so you remember this so this is the value so what we over here we are discussing integration of power density over a solid angle in a sphere okay so what happening this is the derivation e cross h radiation intensity density is nothing but product of electric field to the magnetic field E cross H into R square sin theta d theta d phi the beam solid angle available in a sphere. So, when we solve this we will get our value of this sorry P radiation is nothing but integration of theta plane integration of phi plane. Remember theta plane how much angle it can cover 0 to 180 degree or 0 to pi this value 2 d integration over azimuthal plane azimuthal plane is uh, covering how much angle 0 to 360 and what is value 0 to 2 pi same concept as we have stated earlier. So, 0 to 2 pi 0 to pi into average power density or power density multiply by beam solid angle. So, this way we can define this equation and remember this concept same as we can differentiate in terms of average power, average power is nothing but 1 by 2 of real E cross H ok. Over here we multiplying simple E cross H ok. Over here the RMS value E cross H 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2 1 by 2 and E cross H and same formula ok remember this. Now, second radiation intensity represented as U. So, it is nothing but radiation intensity from the definition point of view it is nothing but radiation density per unit solid angle ok per unit solid angle you can see what per unit solid angle how we measure solid angle a stay radian ok. So, this way we can define definition way and as a formalization it is because where is r square came into the picture r square is distance 
and how is this in associated? It is field regions, because we are discussing antenna field in a far away from the transmitter antenna. Okay. Far away means it is separated by a longer distance and this is termed as far field radiation pattern. And far field radiation pattern is nothing but square of the distance times radiation density. Radiation density all we discussed in the previous one slide W, W radiation. Now, this is the solid angle R square sin theta d theta d phi divided by available that R square distance. So, d omega is nothing but sin theta d theta d phi. So, where u is radiation intensity and it is this symbol watt per stay radian. So, it is nothing but ratio of total power radiation density per unit solid angle. Okay. So, this is defined by radiation density, this we define radiation intensity. Next, radiation power density and intensity for isotropic source. Earlier we discussing for practical, practical scenario, practical sources, which is usually non isotropic, but we are discussing isotropic source, because we require to relate our theory to the isotropic source. This is hypothetical, we know that, but we are discussing or analyzing antenna with respect to someone and someone is nothing but isotropic or ideal case, because in each technology or science we discussing or comparing our achievement, our analysis with ideal one. So, here ideal condition is isotropic source. Okay. What happening? Isotropic source and how radiation density defined? This is two formula, but how we can generate this? Let me give you the point of view for you not. So, u is nothing but radiation intensity or we can say that beam solid angle, beam solid angle represented by psi a, beam area or it can also be known as beam solid angle okay psi a is nothing but integration over a closed sphere into p theta power phi into d omega the solid angle this is the formula but as soon as we clear this term or we utilize this term isotropic, isotropic means uniformly distributed in each direction and that is in alternate way we can say that it is independent of direction, independent of theta, independent of phi, because it is only distributed in each 360 degrees. So, thus it is independent of theta and phi. So, once this is independent of theta and phi. So, what happening if uh, once second uh, we are discussing upon u naught not power. So, let me raise this, this is u, okay. this is u theta phi, because we are discussing this value. Okay. So, it is independent of theta and phi. So, what happened? It terms are treated as a constant. So, take it out from this integration side and this can further rewritten as 0 to 2 pi the azimuthal plane, 0 to pi in elevation plane or together we can say that it is solid angle in a sphere and how much value possible in solid angle in a sphere? 4 pi stereo remember this. Okay. So, this is the different way of writing this equation. So, d omega. So, what is value? It is independent of theta phi, so we treat it as u naught. Okay. And this value, the maximum solid angle over a sphere is nothing but 4 pi. So, beam solid angle is nothing but u naught into 4 pi. Next, what is power? Power density or intensity is nothing but per unit solid angle we discussing about now. So, power is nothing but this value 
that is uh, how much we have level p radiation is nothing but 4 pi upon sorry this value is nothing but given by this equation over written over here okay u naught into 4 pi is nothing but power and this power can also be represented in terms of p radiation because it is radiating power okay so p or p radiation is same for instance we are using radiated power so p radiation or power same both are same okay similarly it is isotropic radiation density p upon what is the area of sphere 4 pi r square so this way we define the radiation power density and intensity of isotropic source okay moving to next slide here we show the same process how we are obtaining this p radiation or average value of power is nothing but power density integrated over a solid angle 0 to 2 pi 0 to pi see same value over incremental surface area d a or d s and d s nothing but r square sin theta d theta d phi which we discussed earlier okay so as soon as this w is independent of theta and phi independent of direction it treated as a constant it treated as a constant why because isotropic source can be eliminated in uniformly over all direction so it is independent of theta and phi so w is taken out as a because it is independent of theta phi and this r square and this is again what is this solid angle over a sphere and how much its value 4 pi so 4 pi r square into w power density so p radiation is nothing but this value so w naught is nothing but p radiation divided by 4 pi r square so this way we can define the condition of power density for isotropic source this is power density what is power density u is nothing but power available in a given direction to the unit solid angle or power per unit solid angle this definition uh, earlier i stated it is nothing but power density per unit solid angle so power per unit solid angle okay so d a upon r square same this is solid angle and we discuss how much its value sin theta d theta d phi okay now what is u same way it is nothing but far field quantity as uh, again i stated it earlier far field quantity so r square times of power density and what is power density remember for isotropic source the previous slide same we designed with this so w radiation is nothing but u divided by r square okay this is another formulation of radiation density for isotropic case okay now same way we formalize this p radiation or average power is nothing but integration over a solid angle solid angle means 0 to pi 0 to 2 pi u intensity u sin theta d theta d phi earlier our example we stated as u theta phi remember and again we seeing this it is isotropic case and it is independent of theta and phi so it is nothing but simple u or u naught okay independent because it is isotropic case isotropic case we are discussing so u or u naught what we have discussed over here okay so this way again same formula so this is beam efficiency next topic what we discuss beam area beam radiation density then we discuss radiation intensity and same for isotropic source we discuss next topic is beam efficiency 
beam efficiency of antenna is nothing but radiation intensity over a given direction to the average in a given direction. This value is basically average value okay. in a given direction because it is theta 1. See this in a given direction. I assuming that the value of 0 to pi is nothing but some value theta 1 and theta is varying from 0 to 180 degree. It may take any value. It is a ratio of intensity or beam area in one direction to the divide by to the intensity averaged over in a given direction 0 to 2 pi 0 to pi ok. So, this way we can define our beam efficiency. Now, before solving some numerical let me give more thing in this over here beam efficiency. Beam efficiency can also be defined the two factor that is a stray factor a stray factor is nothing but it is a ratio and beam beam efficiency we are discussing this ok. So, this can also sum as the beam area is nothing but it is a sum of major lobe and minor lobe. So, we can rewrite this major lobe m capital M for major lobe and a small m for minor lobe. Again I am discussing over here capital M for major and a small m for minor. So, this is the condition. It is sum of major beam area to plus minor beam area is total beam area which we have labeled. So, the ratio of major beam area to the total available area is beam efficiency. This is one more definition. The ratio of major lobe area to the total area is nothing but beam efficiency. On the other hand, the ratio of minor beam area to the total area is a stray factor which we discuss over here. This is a stray factor and beam efficiency for major lobe we can rewrite it efficiency capital M and for this efficiency small m and as we know that the total efficiency must be unity 100 percent. So, one more formulation efficiency of major lobe to the minor lobe to the minor lobe is nothing but 1. So, remember this concept again I am giving review to this point beam efficiency can be derived from other point of view that is the def, uh, the ratio of major beam area to the total area beam area is nothing but efficiency beam efficiency where is the ratio of minor beam minor beam ratio to the ratio to the total available beam area is nothing but a stray factor and the sum of this two is unity ok whereas total area beam area is represented as major lobe area plus minor lobe area. So, remember this concept it is very helpful when you solve numerical. Now, let us discuss some tutorial some problem depend upon this topic. So, here is a problem for a sphere, a sphere, a sphere of a radius r find solid angle in a square radian or a stair radian of a spherical cap of the surface of a sphere over the north pole region defined by spherical angle this to this. Remember the concept elevation plane azimuthal plane elevation plane how it vary 0 to 180 degree you can see this theta it is mentioned over here same way azimuthal plane how it is vary 0 to 2 pi or 360. So, this value is given to you. So, when you solve integration 0 to 2 pi because 360 is directly given and for theta 0 to 30 degree 
rather than pi okay so this is going to be helpful when you solve this numerical now you need to calculate beam efficiency or total area which is available so this is simple you can solve this same value I, as i discussed 0 to 360 0 30 d omega what is the value of d omega sin theta d theta d pi again you need to solve 0 to 2 pi 360 sin theta d theta d phi only d phi is varying according to this so take it out as d phi into another part 0 to 30 integration 0 to 30 degree what is the value of label sin theta d theta now integrate this what is the value of this we know that 2 pi and what is the value of this integration of sin theta is how much cos theta okay minus cos theta we over here written is now minus cos theta varying here it is mentioned pi by 6 30 is nothing but pi by 6 okay you can easily do it so after putting this value we will get the final answer is nothing but 2 pi into this value so the, our final answer is 0.83566 stair radian or solid angle stair radian look like this or degree square you can represent so you need to convert this into degree 180 divided by pi whole square then you put in form of degree square okay so you need to convert this also you need to convert know how we convert this as i earlier discussed in stair radian and solid angle how we measure it okay so you need to very clear about how the question is asking in what term and how you convert this next question an antenna has a field pattern e theta is given as cos square theta and it's very from 0 degree to 90 degree find the beam area okay now you need to find out the beam area again same formula 0 to 2 pi 0 to 90 into given value cos squared this is field pattern remember and we are deriving average power or power density so it is a square of the magnitude always remember this most of student is putting this in wrong way so cos square theta whole square because it is especially mentioned field pattern and we are solving in terms of power ok so it is a magnitude square again same value d omega d omega was sin theta d theta d phi ok so how you solve it again 0 to 2 pi 0 to pi by 2 90 degree cos 4 theta into sin theta d theta d phi separate this d phi and theta term and solve it again 0 to 2 pi d phi how much 2 pi so first part of integration we solve next part is remaining is this value integration of 0 to pi by 2 cos key power 4 theta into sin theta d theta how you going to solve this let assume this cos theta is some other form let u is equal to cos theta so du how much minus sin theta into d theta now change according to this and once we do changes according to this assumptions what is value 0 to pi by 2 or you can convert into u in terms of u but I am giving hint of u because it is very easy. So, how much is value u k power 4 into this sin theta and what is the value of d theta d u divided by minus sin theta. So, this sin theta to that sin theta cancel out into minus d u sin theta. So, this to this cancel out now you can do it easily u k power 4 du is nothing but u k power 5 divided by 5 and minus sin chem again put this value but remember when you putting this value cos theta 
what is the value of cos pi by 2? It is 0, okay. And minus second part sin, it is 1. So, minus 1 by 5, which is over here when you integrate this u k power 5 upon 5 minus sin all this all available over here into this value when you put it what is u over here it is minus 1 by 5 cos k power cos theta k power 5 0 to pi by 2. So, you need to solve this cos 0 1 cos pi by 2 0 for any value when we do 4 square 5 square or 10 square. So, this first value is 0 minus 1. So, minus 2 minus plus 1 by 5. So, how much value we get? First integration we get this value 2 pi. From second integration how much we get? 1 by 5. So, the final answer the beam area this beam area is nothing but 2 pi into 1 by 5 or 2 pi by 5 stay radian. This is your final area. Again I am giving how we solve it. Simply putting the formula here field pattern is given but we are discussing power in terms of power. Power is nothing but magnitude square. So, we square this and simplify the integration 0 to 2 pi and given how much value given 90 degree less than or equal to 90. So, pi by 2. So, taking theta to the theta portion and phi to so phi portion. So, 0 to 2 pi t d phi nothing but 2 pi. Now, this integration we assume that u is cos theta and this process we get the value is 1 by 5. So, multiplying this two value is get 2 pi by 5. This is the total beam area available for this problem. Now, this is the question which is required to solve by a student because it is very easy because we discuss all same in same manner. The radial component of radiation power density of an antenna is given by this function w radiation is given to you. Now, a naught is the peak value of power density find the total radiated power. You need to find out total radiated power and if you recall this the formula for this is very easy. Remember this formula d a or d s. What is d s? r square sin theta d theta d phi. So, this formula is very easy 0 to 2 pi 0 to pi this value which is given as w radiation just put it over here a naught sin theta upon r square into r square sin theta d theta d phi because d s is nothing but r square sin theta d theta d phi. Okay. So, simply now you do going to solve this take the common out a naught is the constant r square to r square cancel out and this value is nothing but the unit vector available in radial direction same as you can write over here a r. Okay. So, we are not discussing this much this is simple problem. So, you need to solve this and I am giving you a final answer it is a naught pi square same process we adopted take a naught 0 to pi 0 to pi sin square d theta d phi d phi it is 2 pi. Now, a naught sin square theta d theta is nothing but what is sin square theta? How we sign out? 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 2. Remember this formula? Just put over here and take this formula and put over here and simplify this we will get this answer. Okay. So, this is the value of radiated power which is a naught times into pi square. Okay. So, this way we are going to solve this, this type of problem. Thank you.